Previously, on Mass Effect. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Commander, we need to talk. The three of us. Ooh. This is a rather awkward situation. Yeah, I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. I'm just trying to figure out where I stand. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some Mass Effect. Last time we finished Novaria, and damn, what a quest that was. We lost Benezia, and we found out that, you know, she was, in fact, indoctrinated by Saren. And so the kind of last scene between Liara and Benezia was very sad, and... Um, I wasn't really expecting it to hit that hard, but Jesus, it hit hard as hell. Um, so I know we usually do side quests after we do a main story like that, but I really, really want to check out this Vermeer place. Um, it's piqued my interest ever since the council mentioned it. So we're going to actually do this today, and I doubt we'll finish it. But we're definitely going to start it. So that is the plan for today. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. And let's do this. All right, here we go. Ooh, it looks so pretty. It's a very lush frontier world. I do for colonization. Heck yeah. I'm pretty excited. I, I've been really, really pumped for this quest since the council mentioned it. And I've been putting it off. And I'm honestly really excited to start it. Um, Caden has been like my go-to lately. I really love him and his lines. Um, but I like to do Caden and Rex because they're like a very solid team. I get a little bit of mix of everything. And Caden, I increased his uh, was it hacking or decryption something. So he's master now. So he should be able to get us all that sweet loot. So. We're gonna go with the boy squad today. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Oh, that's right, I forgot that. Check out that. those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. Oh. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. I forgot they were Solarians. <laughs> oh, Rex is gonna be so pissed at me. Got a clean drop, Commander. Thanks, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. Oh, I know that's going to be rough. Meet you at the camp once those towers Rex, are Rex, you know I love you. Joke around. You know I do. Please don't be mad. Oh, I got Rex a new uh, armor too. Doesn't he look suave? And Caden too. You're looking good. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot the Solarians were here. <laughs> oh. I think I said I was going to bring Rex when I first got the quest, so I didn't mean to bring him, but he's just my go-to. I don't think there's been a single quest that I haven't had Rex with me, because I just love him so much. I think Rex and Caden are my two favorites. Liara's coming very close, okay? Liara's like- Liara and Caden are like fighting for two, but I really, really like Caden because he's just really sweet, and I think I need my car. <laughs> I was like, this is a long way to walk. So, we'll see. Hopefully Rex doesn't disown me for bringing him here today. I'd be really upset. Sorry, there's like something in my eye and it's like bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright, Mecca. Let's go beat some ass. Oh, look at all the little get boys. Oh, they're little crabs. That's adorable. Get crabs. I love it. Bam. Yeah. I love running motor. This is a nice world. It's very uncharted feeling. I feel like Soli should be coming out any second, smoking a cigar and yelling at me. God damn it.
There's too many enemies. God damn it. Alright. Excuse me while I figure out how to goddamn drive. Jesus. <laughs> I know I could kill all of them and get XP, but like, there's so many. And we, we definitely get our fair share of beating some ass in this game, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, there's a lot of them here, though. God damn. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Where do I go? Alright, maybe this wasn't it. No, it has to be. This is no other way. Alright. Bam! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Geth have taken over this place. God damn. Oh, look at that big boy. Ugh, bitch. <laughs> Alright, which way? Left or right? Left. This makes me want to play Uncharted so bad. I love that game. The whole series was just so fire. I've been wanting to replay it lately. I don't know why. I've just been having such a itch for it. Maybe because Mass Effect kind of reminds me of it, with like some of the worlds are similar and shooting. And the humor is hilarious. But maybe I'll do that on my own time. And live that beautiful moment of Soli and Nate. Where are you? Get out of my face. Not your place. In the ground. Bam! Do we get everybody? Sick! Oh, we did not get everybody. Alright, let me open the gate. Holy shit, I have seven med kits? Hell yeah. Hello, beautiful. Oh, I know I have one with the. Uh... On. Which one's one with electricity? This one? Poison, but still good. Still good. Very good, actually. Okay. Here we go. Jesus. Back up, sir. Come here, bro. He left his gun for me. That's a cool gun. Can I take it? I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. Sick. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Nice. Ready to move out, Commander. Oh, why is there one that's... Hold on. There you go. Heck yeah. Cool, is the gate open now? Sick. Don't worry about him, boys. We'll just knock him out with Mako. They won't handle it. Boys, come on. It's okay. They can live. We don't care about them. Nice. Oh shit. Another one? God damn. They really don't want us here. Where's the rest? It says you're up there. Get your ass down. Alright. They don't want Mika. I understand. They want some shepherd action. That's cool. I can, I can respect that. Alright. What is Rex rocking with? Alright. That's pretty good. I think, Rex, you're more of a uh, shoddy boy today. You're gonna be shoddy today. Get all up and push. Nice. 
hello, beautiful. I can't handle all this. Oh. <laughs> There's one more. Don't hide. Come say hello. That's a big boy. That's a big one. Get him, Rex. Got him. Nice. Nice, Rex. Nice, let's go. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. Frick yeah. They really make you work for it. I can appreciate that. Sweet. To the Solarian camp we go. <laughs> Although I do like the, the little drive scenes, they're kind of a lot too. It just takes forever to get to any place. And I just... I don't see the point of it. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Oh, okay. Why, why couldn't he just drop me off at the camp then? What? <laughs> Joker's like, I thought you needed a little practice before he gets the real shit. There's the camp. Uh-oh. Rex is gonna be pissed. So what are we supposed to do now? Ashley! Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Shit. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. That's us. We are the reinforcements. You're looking at us. What? You're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet- Excuse me, I am a fleet in myself, so... You've been misinformed. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. Oh, shit. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. <gasps> he set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Holy shit. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his geth are everywhere, and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. Damn. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What was he doing? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What? What's so important about curing this genophage? What do you mean? <laughs> it was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising to quell their numbers. Mm -hmm. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I agree that we need to stop the Krogan who are following Saren, but this is a big deal. Shit, I don't even know what to say to this. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Hey, don't be mean to Rex. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Shit. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. Dude, this is a huge we deal. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Stop being mean to Rex. You think I should go talk to him? Obviously. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. He's a good guy. Stop it. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. <laughs> nice. Oh look, Garrus is here too. 
still trust him? Oh, Jesus, everyone's turning on Rex right now. It makes sense that he's upset. Am I the only one? <laughs> oh, is that him? What are you shooting, Rex? He's practicing. Do it. Epic, Rex. Dude, it makes sense that he's upset. I don't understand why everyone's, like, super weird about it. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Yeah, bro, I get it. I get it. So, um, just a little, uh, information, I guess, is I did a little bit more research about this war because I was kind of confused. Um, and basically what happened was, uh, after the Rachni War, you know, the Krogan population... It kept increasing and they weren't dying in battle because they weren't being used for war so they started expanding outside to different planets and it started to become a problem when the Krogan ended up trying to take some land from some Asaris and it ended up starting a war um, between I believe the Asaris, the Salarians, and the Krogan so they were losing the Asaris and Solarians were losing because there's so many Krogan and their war machines basically and so they enlisted the help of the Turians into this war and um, with the help of the Turians the Solarians made the genophage in which the Turians released uh, and ended up you know dwindling their reinforcements so they ended up winning the war um, but the genophage I don't know how much I don't remember how much it talked about it in this game so far but basically the genophage is a biological weapon that was used in order to prevent the Krogan from respawning or reproducing more so um, by making it so it's almost impossible to bear children so like almost all the children that uh, get you know created through mommy and daddy sexy time um, don't make it to birth or they die during birth or um yeah so basically there's just a really small percentage of children that make it to infancy and to adulthood so it's a pretty big deal and i don't know how i feel about it right this moment i understand you're upset but we both know saren's the enemy here he's the one you should be angry with Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. I didn't say that. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I get that. I get that. But it is not that simple, I agree. This isn't a cure. It's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. Oh, no, no, no. Rex, please. Oh man. I totally understand why Rex is, you know, so upset about this. This is a huge deal. It's basically like the cure to help his people, and we're just like, no. That I feel like, I think the genophage has been a problem for like hundreds of years, if not longer than that, so this is like huge oh my goodness okay anyway sorry i just can't believe this is happening right now okay um don't make me choose so what do you want from me yeah come on rex i can't let you jeopardize the mission Please, rex so that's it all this time and that's all i get from you no how can you not see what this means to the Krogan? i know this base can't be destroyed i won't allow it what the fuck is that i'm not uh, ah <laughs> I don't get how these aren't his people, but sure. I can't believe we could shoot Rex. Are you insane? He's my favorite character. No. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Done, Rex. It's yours. 
Oh my god. Rex. Oh. I can't believe I could have shot Rex right there. Are you kidding me? Rex is my man's. Never. Rex is gonna be with me till the end. No matter what. I'd do anything for him. Okay, that was really intense. I was not ready for that. But I think we're ready, sir. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Got a plan? I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. I like it. No, I agree with Caden. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. That sounds like an awful thing for you. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. I mean, yeah, I can't ask him to do that and not do that myself, I guess, but... I like all my people. <laughs> uh, sure. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. <gasps> Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> uh, I can ask, I guess. Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's think here. So, I haven't really played with Ashley very much. And that's not because I don't like Ashley. It's just like, she's a soldier, and I'm a soldier, so I don't really need two soldiers on my team. You know, I need a more balanced squad. And that's why I haven't brought her with me. So honestly, for me, it's kind of an easier choice because I don't really play with Ashley anyway. And I think having Ashley with them would be really good because she's like a really good soldier. So, have Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Uh, I actually don't. Let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. What's wrong? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah, it's just a second. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Let's kick ass. Hell yeah. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the Hoorah. other side. You bet, Commander. That's right. So cute. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan. But before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. 
That was a good speech. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Good job, sir. I'm impressed. All right, Caden, my man. And Rex. Oh, sorry. Rex. <laughs> Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Let's do it. It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Of course. I kind of wish we were like the front squid, like the front squad, you know. But it doesn't make much Shadow sense. Is for us. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. Coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the death target. Okay. Yeah, Ashley just makes more sense. She's way more tactical than Caden is. Caden's good too, don't get me wrong, but we need his like engineering skill set for this. So to me it makes way more sense for Caden to come with us. Where is this little Where is he at, boys? Appreciate that. Get my shields up. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Good job. How did you survive that, sir? Nice. Like taking candy from a baby. Ooh, here we go. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna make sure we can get all the help we can give to them. It's like, this is gonna be what we're looking for. Easy enough. Okay. Alright, boys. I like it. It's like stealth. I like it. Something scrambled. They're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Oh, hello. Which way? This way. I don't know if I had to go fast or not, or if it matters. Say hello. Come up baby. Say hello. Fine. I'll come to you. Surprise, mother. <laughs> oh, my shoddy has the electricity stuff on it. Perfect. Sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. William, can you see anything? Alright, fine. I will pull out Snipey. I haven't had him in a while. Aw, oh, damn it, you guys. <laughs> Maybe I can get somebody else. Nice. Show me your beautiful face. Come here, beautiful. Nice. Cool, that was fun. I haven't used the sniper in forever. What's this? Oops. Oh, Jesus. That was Rex. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Alright, perfect. This scared me so bad with it. <laughs> aircraft heading for perimeter stations to recharge. Bump her up before they come back. Alright. Looks like there's multiple ways to go. Let's go here first. There's two 
program there. Holy shit. Got him, boys. Is there anything I can distract over here? No? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Back this way. I swear I saw one over here. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Nice, I'll take that. There he is. Oh! Yeah, just stay there. <laughs> that, was, that was dirty. Sometimes you gotta get in that mud. boys. It's probably a horrible mistake. I don't care. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Whoa. JF's more around. Shadow team must be getting close. That was so reckless. <laughs> that was so much fun. Alright, where's the other one? Oh. Is there anything I can do to help them? It's a crate. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's see. Did she just say like the captain was down? Like the guy we talked to? It's not good. I hope everyone makes it okay. I'm sure everyone will be fine. We're a pretty sick crew. Okay. Oh, here you go. Perfect. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarian stand. No, we, we'll be fine. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah, there's no way. They, they're already toast. Right, I probably should change my gun. Hold on, guys. I hate when they charge. The Solarian. Personal space. Oh. Oh, he's losing some men to indoctrination? What? Holy shit. That's not good. Really bad, actually. Shit, dude. Oh, what's this? Better pick up the paste. Hello? Oh. Is someone out there? Hello? What the heck is going on here? Okay, can we hold him here? Damn it, Phil 
through those holes. Come on, Shepard, hurry it up. Shit. Okay, sorry, Ashley. How do I know which one to go to? There's so many of them in there. Okay. What is this? Well, you're not a gaff. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Oh, we can't open them because they're all indoctrinated. Sad. Oh well. Well, at least we saved one guy, right? It's really sad. How do you indoctrinate them so fucking fast? That's really terrifying, actually. I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. Yeah, I agree. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I'm sorry. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Oh, that's so fucked up. Aw, I didn't mean to. He obviously is not okay. <laughs> okay, well I let one of them out, so... Sorry. I feel bad. It's fucked up. Ooh. Oh, the door's locked. Hmm. Okay, well, there's that elevator back there. Man, I feel so bad about that, but. He obviously was indoctrinated. He obviously was... And he's like, the whispers are telling me. I'm like, mm. Even if I let you out, I'm gonna have to kill you, sir. I don't really want to do that. Especially compared to the other guy. The other guy was, like, totally fine. This guy was not fine. That's for sure. But that made me feel bad that he, like, killed himself. Because, like, didn't let him out. I can't win. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, 
Sorry, sir. I was just curious. Yeah, that was stupid, I agree. Jesus Christ. What's going on? I don't know, but I'm getting Where absolutely ringed right now. Where is Saren? Where is Saren? I don't know, not no. my problem. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. Damn, we're just... This is a rough episode, you guys. This is just really depressing. God damn. I don't think I really need any med jed, but we can take it anyway. Damn. Oof. Got the genophage, we got indoctrination, we got people killing themselves because of the indoctrination. I don't like this. This is not a fun time. At least I got my boys with me. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Kaden? <laughs> Ranath the Noctis, <laughs> neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. Oh. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. All right. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Yep. Bye-bye. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! <laughs> you enjoyed that. I did enjoy that, Kaden. Thank you. <laughs> Kaden knows me too well. Alright, let's go. Is this door right? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> I get so lost. So not only is he breeding Krogan, but he is using his ship to mind control people? What the heck? Saren's a busy boy. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh, whoa, it is. Shit, let's go check that out. out this time. Progress. <laughs> okay, that was pretty epic. Alright, cool guys, I got more of the... I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? 
creatures of blood and flesh, you touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. This ship? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Holy shit. Okay, so the Reapers are like the Geth, right? They're like non-organic life forms. Holy shit. No wonder Saren's so powerful. He's a freaking Reaper. Who are the ones that killed the Prithians, which we don't- I guess we don't know how strong the Prithians were, but still, holy shit. Yeah, I'm strong. <laughs> there is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Not quite, but we- we'll get there. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. What? They made the Citadel? What? Oh, I'm so fucking confused. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need. Then wiping us out. Oh my god, that's crazy. Ooh, that's a good question. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. So you don't know, is what you're saying. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Shit. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. He is not answering our questions, that little shit. Um, I mean, true. If he's as old as he says he is, like, that is... He's at least five, 50 thousand years old which is the oldest maybe what was the plant how old is the plant i don't remember how old the plant was but i think the plant was that old maybe i don't remember but we probably seem like little babies to him you're not even alive not really you're just a machine and machines can be broken your words are as empty as your future <laughs> i am the vanguard of your destruction this exchange is over. Dude, that guy's pretty epic though. I'm not gonna lie. He's got some pretty good lines. 
Like if Shepard were saying Commander, shit like that, we got trouble. I would be like, <sighs> "What's wrong now?" Hit me, Joker. That ship, Sovereign. Mm -hmm. It's moving. Oh, shit. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. Because it's, it's not a ship. <laughs> it's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander. We gotta bounce. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Oh shit. Dude, what the hell? That was crazy. So, Sovereign is a Reaper. Reapers are the one that killed the Pretheans. They made the Citadel and the Mass Effects. And they're just gonna come and kill everybody now for some reason. That's great. If there's more than one of them, we're fucked. Like... Why do I have my sniper out? Um... One of them is doing so much damage. Though. The gas are turning. Shepard must be getting close. Janto, circle around. Keep them here. Keep them. Oh shit, dude. There's more than one Reaper for sure, based on his his answer. And they're coming. We're not ready for that. We're so fucked, you guys. It's not even funny. I mean, we might be able to do it if we got everybody, like, all the races together. But I don't know how that's gonna happen. Is there one behind me? No, okay. Especially because a lot of the racers absolutely hate each other. And I don't see them working with us or each other at all. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can convince them somehow. But like, I don't know. It seems like we're doomed based on that information. Like, that's. I don't know. Maybe we have a shot. Maybe, a, maybe it give us a shot. A, a chance, you know? Maybe we're better than I think. But he's done so much damage. Where's that little shit? In? There he is. Get your ass down. Damn it. <laughs> Brother. get a reaper on our side. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe there's a rogue reaper that we can find and then then maybe we'd have a chance. That'd be pretty epic, honestly. We definitely need more information. Like we are we know nothing about these people. Seriously? Sir, please. Come on, we can do it. Alright, I'm sure we can figure it out. How perfect. Disable this. Nice. Lakes. Where's the other one? You guys got him? Do you need help? Nice work on that gun, Commander. We've got the other one in our sights. Sweet. We might survive this, you guys. <laughs> Damn, I just can't believe that. That makes a lot of sense, though, because Saren was 
super powerful out of nowhere. There's the gun. Clear those gaps and get the charges set. How did Saren even get in contact with this guy? It's insane. Oh, sorry, Rex. So I wish we can talk to Saren and like just have a deep conversation and figure out what the heck he's doing and how he came to know a Reaper and not only the that, how did he come Everyone get low, now. to be on the side of a Reaper when the Reaper wants to kill everybody? Doesn't make any sense. I need to know these things. <laughs> Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Sweet. Is this where we need to go? Where are they? Oh, there we are. Heck yeah. That went pretty well. I love the music in this game. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we can- It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Okay. Up to the AA tower. Move! Aw, I lost my boy. I guess Liara can come join. Oh no, we should have Tali. She can beat some Geth ass. I bet she'd love that. Alright, Kaden, I'll be back. Stay cute. Alright, where do I need to go? This way, maybe? Where do I go? Uh... It's gotta be down here. It's the only thing that makes sense. There he is, okay. Alright, Kaden. We'll be back. Holy shit, they're kicking my ass. Sir, how are you? Fucking hate these guys. Who's that? Nice. Good job, team. Alright, let's go save Ashley. It's absolutely bananas. I love it. Wait a minute. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. No, 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 no. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. 
What? Excuse me? Screw that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Elenko! What is happening? Okay, well, Caden's by himself, dude. I, or maybe he has like one other person with him, but he's like by himself. And that's a whole dead ass Geth ship. And Ashley at least has like a squad with her. So I think it makes more sense to go to Caden. So we're gonna go to Caden. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Yeah, we'll be fine. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Ash. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. Wait, what? What do you mean? No, you, no you'll be okay. We'll come back for you. Caden definitely won't be okay, but Ashley should be fine. Right? She'll be fine. Don't worry about it, Ashley. We'll come get you. I'll be super fast. Come on, elevator, let's go. The clock is ticking. It just made sense to me to get Caden, because Caden's like by himself. That was a whole ship. And like he would have totally KO'd. Not a chance would Caden survive that. But Ashley has a group. And we'll take care of these guys real quick. And then we'll we'll come and beat their ass. Everyone will be fine. See look, he's by himself. He would totally die. <laughs> Christ. Jesus. Oh, boys. Oh, God. Tally's done. Jesus. <laughs> boys. I'm gonna fucking die. It's happening. Jesus Christ, Caden would have been freaking cottage, not cottage cheese, switch cheese with all the holes he would have had in his ass. There's so many of them here. Oh damn. Commander, set that nuke and get out! We can't hold them! Damn it! Suppressing fire! Cover your oh, flank! Shit. Cover your- Is that my boy? Epic. <laughs> I applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Thank of you. course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Okay, so he sided with the Reapers so that they would spare him? What? I mean, I don't know. Think of quality of life, sir. Do you want to be a slave? instead of dying? I don't know if I would want to live like that. And how are we gonna know if the Reapers would even keep their word? Likely what's gonna happen is Sovereign's gonna use Saren for his own gain, basically. And then once he got what he wanted, he's gonna murder Saren. Like, Saren is delusional if he thinks that this Reaper guy who gives an absolute zero fuck about our species, or any species on this galaxy, is gonna spare him. Oh, Saren. No, man, you're fooling yourself. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. 
We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But fair. if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. But to a life force that is so old as they are, how are we going to become useful? I mean, our technology is all centered on their technology. So obviously, I don't, maybe we can develop something better than the mass relays, but it doesn't seem like it, at least at this point. Yeah. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. That's a good point. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Is it? The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Yeah, you sure it's not already happened? Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Oh. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. Oh, the but as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Mm. All right. I can kind of see what he's, where he, you know, thought this was going, but it's definitely, what he described the Geth being is definitely him to Sovereign. Like, Sovereign probably just absolutely despises his ass. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. So he doesn't know how to destroy us? That doesn't make any sense. What? Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. Oh, for sure. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my... Only hope. He's, yeah, he's not gonna enjoy me. But he's. This is, this is true. Uh, he's too far gone. I'm gonna say this. Don't you see? You are just a tool! Sovereign is using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Yes, exactly. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Well, think again. <laughs> Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. Uh, but I don't think you understand Sovereign enough to make that conclusion. Oh, brother. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, die. I mean, I get his point, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it's a good idea in terms of, you know, the idea of forming an alliance with them. You know, 
when there's such a strong force in the air. Makes sense. I understand logically where he's getting at. But I think that, unfortunately, that shit ain't nothing. <laughs> I think Saren has overestimated his value, um, and I think he knows it, he's just a denial, or he has been indoctrinated to forget about that. But I definitely think, uh, it can be good for our boy here for much longer. Oh, come on. Damn, Geth got my ass. Ugh. Oh, it's not wearing off. Seriously. Oh, damn it. There you go. Oh, it's not wearing off. What's happening? There you go. I feel bad for Saren, actually. Well, I think, well, maybe I should feel bad. It's kind of being a selfish asshole, but... I do think that... Maybe initially he was trying to do the right thing. And then he realized how big the threat was, and then he was like, Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta save myself. I'm still curious to, like, when he even interacted with Sovereign. Like, when did that even happen? so epic though. Oh my god, yeah. That was sick. Shoot him in the butt. <laughs> so epic, dude. I love it. Kaden! Alright everybody, insane. hang on! Dude, that was way more intense than I thought that was gonna be. That was crazy. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Oh, I didn't think she was gonna... Oh. Oh, no. It was me. Oh, it was. I didn't realize when I made that decision, you guys. It just like, okay, before everyone yells at me, tactically it made more sense to go to Caden because Caden was by himself completely and there was a whole arm, like ship of reinforcements with him that were coming at him. Like there was no way he would have survived that. And I thought at least Ashley had a chance without us because she had a whole other group of people with her. But I didn't realize at the time that it was like, Ah, oh, I guess that makes sense, because Ashley was like, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh man, I didn't realize, though, that that's crazy. I mean, to be honest with you guys, if I knew before I made the decision, I probably would have picked Kaden anyway. Um, not because there's anything wrong with Ashley, okay? I, I understand, you know, some of her viewpoints, and especially since I did a little bit more um, backstory research for my own self to understand the game a little better and I realized that the first contact war which was the war between the humans and the Turians was not that long ago I think where we were playing as like our present time right now in the game was only like 23 years or something after that war ended so it makes sense that there is such a large hostility between the uh, alliance members and the Turians for sure, but kind of just the whole alien species as a whole because the first contact war was uh, the humans' first contact with other alien life forms and they were met with violence. So I do understand. I don't agree with some of the things she said. I think she took some things a little steps too far, as did other Alliance members that we talked to, but I do at least understand better the context behind that. But moving past that 
um, the other aspects of Ashley. I think she was really sweet. I liked our conversations with her and uh, about her siblings and her parents, and I really liked her commentary. She was a little strong-held, and she uh, she said some stuff that she shouldn't have said, in my opinion. But um, I did like her as a character, and I was starting to like her more and getting more interested in her story. Um, but personally, I just liked Kaden more, uh, mostly because I think Kaden is really sweet, and I think in this game it would be really nice to have more of a sweet character with us and a more compassionate character with us because we need somebody to be compassionate, I think, especially if we're dealing with something as big as Sovereign and Reapers. We're gonna need compassion potentially to bring people together for our cause. So anyway, long story short, I am upset Ashley died, but I do think I made the right decision for me personally. So um, that's unfortunate though. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. <laughs> But uh, I guess that makes the game more more real, you know, which I appreciate. So anyway, that was my explanation for that decision in case anyone was curious. But poor Ashley, may she rest in peace. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. Yes, she did. But why me? Why not her? Because you were in way more danger, dude. It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. What do you even mean? You didn't call the Geth ship, my dude. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. Oh my god, I, I didn't think realize they were all you found in Saren's <laughs> base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Oh, for sure. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Heck yeah, let's do it. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Oh, whoa. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Oh my goodness. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. I love when they say that. <laughs> Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Oh uh, yeah, I think we should. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. 
If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. I talked to it, bro. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. <laughs> I want to disconnect so bad. That'd be hilarious. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. I mean, that's the Council fair. cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. I mean, that's super annoying, but I understand. Logically, that makes sense. Alright guys, we're gonna end this one here. What a freaking insane episode. It was so good though. Finding out Sovereign is not a ship, but a reaper was insane. Seeing Saren again and his epicness. I do love him. He is such an amazing villain. And, you know, having that huge choice just dropped on us to choose between Kaden and Ashley that I didn't even realize was a choice in the moment. But, um, damn. I can't believe Ashley's dead. That's really rough. I would have liked to have more time with her, but I have to admit, I'm really happy that Caden's alive and sticking with us because I definitely like Caden a very large amount and I would be really sad to have him gone for the rest of this journey. So although I am sad that Ashley is no longer with us, I am really happy that Caden is okay. So yeah, insane, crazy episode, like I said. Especially last time, too, with Novaria and Benezia and Sliar. It's just a lot of emotional um, turmoil is going on right now with this game. And I'm loving and hating it at the same time. So it seems like we are getting very close to endgame here. It looks like in terms of our main quest, we only have one. Uh, and that is to go to find the conduit, which I think will be absolutely crazy. And I'm really excited to check that out. Um, there is one other side quest I wanted to do with you guys. It is the DLC technically for this game and it is like Asteroid 57, I think. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see that or not. Um, if you do, I'll probably do that next time and then we will go back to the main story probably for the rest of the time we have in this game. So um, I'm excited. I'm nervous. It's not good that we already lost a character. We almost lost Rex too. Um, I don't know if I would handle it if Rex KO'd. Rex is definitely my favorite by a large margin, and, uh, I'm a little worried about the status of my crew. I didn't think they would kill anybody off, especially in the first game, so I'm a little concerned. So, um, I'm hoping that they don't kill anybody else off, but, you know, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. So, I'm just hoping it's not Rex, because... I love everybody, but goddamn it, if Rex dies, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely insane episode. If you did, go leave a like and comment below. And of course, subscribe to see this gameplay and other gameplay in the future. But other than that, I hope you're amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.